Hey guys, happy Easter. This is my get ready with me for Easter vlog. I was gonna do a TikTok and then I was like, no, because I want another video to post. Like I like the two videos a week thing. I've kind of, well in my head, started doing. So this is just gonna be like a dedicated, like little get ready with me. So the first thing I do is get on my outfit and I'm gonna talk about when I'm getting ready, like why I do the order I do. I have an idea. Well, I have two ideas. I love how they're both green. I'm thinking I'm gonna go with this one because I haven't worn it in a hot minute. This is from Luca and Gray. Um, it was Aspen store that is no longer. And then I have this one. This is really cute too. It's giving like Venetian. Maybe that's the wrong term, but I'm thinking I'm gonna just gonna go with this one and wear tennis shoes with it. For getting ready purposes, I just have my slippers on. Okay, so this is the dress. I think it's so cute. I haven't worn this. I think it's been a year since I've worn this dress. And I'm glad I picked this one because I'm a little bloated right now because it's that time of the month. So I think this is a good option. Okay, so I'm just gonna like brush out my hair and then put heat protectant on it because I like doing this before my hair actually gets curled because the longer it has to like sit on the hair, the more my hair can like air out and everything. Well, not air out, but like the heat protectant can like dry, so. That's why I kind of just like to do this as, as the first step. So I'm just gonna squeeze this in. Luckily this dress is kind of comfortable <laughs> because at first I really didn't want to wear anything like kind of fancy, but I'm like, you know what? Easter only happens once a year, so might as well. Why not? See, this is when if I was doing a TikTok, I'd be like, get ready with me for Easter. But we've already, covered what we're doing so I'm not doing anything crazy for this look makeup look but always gonna start out with the brows first I tried to like pluck my eyebrows just because I just thought that they could use a little bit of cleaning up I try to do that every so often but I'm definitely not a pro at like anything brow or brow related I'm barely getting by honestly you know the funniest thing too is like I love watching get ready with me's and listening to people but like when I go to do them, I'm like, what do I talk about? Like on the most random occasions, I'm like, oh, I would love to talk about this. And I just like, I get the ideas at the most random times and then I forget the idea. I used to make notes, but I kind of stopped doing that. Come on, man. Sometimes I just like pray that they turn out okay. I don't want them to be like too crazy. I did want to take a cute Easter picture too today. I don't know if we're gonna actually get that or not, but you know, Having a good goal will be good. Oh, I'm thinking about this. That one time I was talking to you guys and I was like, oh, I hope I get a new good profile picture. Yeah, that didn't really happen. <laughs> but, you know, it was fun to take the pictures and stuff. So it wasn't all a waste because I did have fun, but none of them really worked out. So I saw this thing on TikTok and it was basically like the order of getting ready. So this one girl was like, oh, I do hair. No, I think she said I do makeup in my robe and then I do my hair and then I put on my outfit. And then other people were like, oh no, I gotta do hair first because I don't know the reason, but like I was looking at the comments and it was like telling me the order of how you do things. So I do everything backwards, I feel like. Well, maybe not everything, but I do not know why people wait to put on their outfit. And yes, I know that you have a chance of getting makeup on this. Like I completely understand it and watch, I'm probably gonna get makeup on it now that like I'm talking about it. But in a normal world, knock on wood, I do not get like drops of makeup on my outfit. The reason why I always do my outfit before everything else is because I am guaranteed to get makeup on it if I have makeup on and have to put anything over my head, I'm gonna get makeup on it. That's why I hate trying things on in stores when I have makeup on because I always get makeup on stuff and it sucks and I'm not like doing it on purpose, but I don't know how people, unless you really stretch out the neck of something, which I don't wanna do because you don't want it to be like so stretched out that you know, you harm the item. I don't know, it's just complicated and 
I cannot stand even putting anything on with makeup on or for that matter taking anything off with makeup on like I'm guaranteed to get makeup on it from my face because I don't know how to put on a shirt without getting makeup on it so if you guys know how to put on a shirt without getting a makeup thing like on the neck let me know because all these girls were like yeah that's the way I do it too I'm like I do it completely opposite. I put on the outfit and then do my makeup. And then I save the last for my hair because, well, since I don't do a whole lot of makeup, like in the grand scheme of things, I don't. I mainly do makeup to like just even out my skin. I'm no makeup beauty guru. I used to hate makeup as you guys know. And yeah, but I started liking it a bit better because I found like makeup that I like and it's not too uncomfortable for me so I don't mind it as much but also too I'm not like willing to spend the money a whole bunch of makeup products because I like choose to spend my money in other ways so I don't do a lot of makeup so that's why I do my makeup second because I like to spend a lot of time on my hair because I love doing hair like I love curling my hair like if it comes to one if it comes down to like picking one or the other, I will do my hair. So if I really don't feel like doing makeup, I'm like, ah, screw it. Like, I'll just do my hair to make myself feel put together and nice and everything. When it boils down to it, my hair comes like first. So I want like as much time to do or like spend on my hair. So I just do a quick little makeup look and call it good so I can spend most of my time with my hair. That's why I save my hair to the last. And half of me loves my hair straight. Like sometimes I do like the straight hair, but then I just feel like so like more girly and stuff with curly hair. So I, that's why I typically when I do get ready, I do curls. And I got the new curling iron for Christmas. It was funny, one of these comments was like, oh, that's just like a normal curling iron. Well, for the longest time I used a curling wand, which I still have and they're next to each other. I really wanted a curling iron because of this girl, I liked the way she did her curls. When I'm in a really big hurry though, I just use uh, the curling wand because like I know how to work that one really fast. But if I have a little bit more time and I really want more Dyson Airwrap looking curls, I will just w use the curling iron with the clamp. So I'm gonna definitely do the curling iron with the clamp today. I like the way those curls look. I always go back to touch up my eyebrows after I do like my face makeup just because. I just like to get like the final like kind of shaping done because I find that um, the face makeup kind of like blends them. I don't know, it's just something weird I do. And then I put on the eyebrow gel stuff. I just brush them up like this. I'm not going to do bronzer today because I don't feel like it. <laughs> I feel like I say that in all of my get ready with me's or TikToks for that matter because I do more like little get ready with me's on TikTok. I will say they're a lot easier to edit on TikTok. I like doing them for YouTube because I'm not going to lie, I get paid. So <laughs> because I get paid on YouTube, I don't mind just spending a little bit more time to edit them. And guys, honestly, I'm kind of surprised that I still get paid from YouTube because of like all my, my lack of uploads have been pretty bad. That's why I've been trying to do at least two videos a week. It doesn't sound like a lot, but when you just don't feel like doing anything, it's a lot. But I'm happy to say I still get paid. And then I got paid, guys, for my commission links. So like when I link things down below, obviously they're commission based kind of. So if like you buy something or whatever, I get like a chunk of change. And literally when I say change, I mean change. It's not like that much. Um, but I got paid from like to know it and I'm like, oh my gosh, that's so cool. Because sometimes, some months I don't get that commission because I don't meet the threshold. And then sometimes I do, but like somehow I'm always meeting into YouTube threshold. So I can't complain and I'm really thankful and happy because to still be able to say like, I can make a little bit of income off of YouTube is like still a dream to me. I love it. So thank you guys for always watching and clicking my links if you ever click my links. Oh, another thing I wanted to talk about is this camera I've been really wanting. Like I feel like a couple more YouTubers are using this camera and it's the Sony ZV-1 Mark II and I really, really want it. My Canon DSLR has been up on eBay for a hot minute now 
and I just really want it to sell because I'm gonna use that money to buy my new camera. <laughs> so I'm like crossing my fingers. I typically like to put the items that I wanna sell up near Christmas or like holidays because I know that people are looking for the, that stuff, but no one's really like shown any interest in that big DSLR and I know it's like old, it's an older version, so I know it probably won't get any traction, but I'm like low-key hoping that that one will like, I don't know, do well and get sold so I can buy the new camera because, so the new camera I really want because it has this sort of lens, like it's a wide angle lens, like this camera. This is the Canon EOS M50. It's a mirrorless camera. It's like a medium size. So like, it's not as big as a DSLR, but it still has interchangeable lenses because this is an 11 to 22 millimeter lens. And that's why it's like wide angle. So yeah, like I really want this camera because it has this lens, this whole thing, but it's almost the size of the Canon G7X. So I would still get the same look, but it'd be on the G7X like size. It'd be around that size. Oh, I should plug in my curling iron. Long story short, it gives the same image similar to this one, but the camera is just a lot smaller and it can fit in like a pocket or small bag. And I just really like that because I've been using, if you guys can tell, like when I'm out and about, like I typically use either my phone or my G7X because even though I love the G7X, and still I like vlogging with it and taking photos. I like the wide angle. Like when I'm vlogging and stuff, I want you know you to see the surroundings. Not that this is a lot of good captivating image right now, but like, you know what I mean? <laughs> so I don't know. I just really want that camera to sell. And then another like little side note thing. I don't know if I'm gonna do lips. Maybe I will because I wanna take a picture. Also too, I need more of this. So I'm gonna leave this out. So all my curling iron is heating up. As you can see, there's my two curling iron, my two curling irons, one's the wand I was saying. I got this new like Rode phone case and I thought they were gonna be like more hype. Like I thought more people were gonna have them. So I got one because I'm like, oh, I kinda wanna try it and see what it's like. And I don't see anyone using one. And it's just like really big and bulky. So I'm gonna give it a few more months like I didn't even put it on my phone because like it's just way too big and bulky. I don't even know why I was like wanting it. It's probably just because of the hype and it costs way too much. It costs like $55. So I might try to sell it. I'll give it a couple more months if it's not like popular <laughs> as I thought it was going to be. I'm either going to sell it or I'm going to try to do like a giveaway for it because there's no way I'm using that thing. Like let's just be real. I think it was just like more like the impulse buy of like Oh, I want it. I want to see if I can get it. And then I got it and I'm like, eh. I don't really regret it. I might keep the lip, the peptide lip treatment because I might as well try that and use it. And I don't think anyone would want something that's not even in the package anymore. So I might keep that. But other than that, I'm like, the phone case is just not it. Sometimes my hair takes forever to get like the part the way I want it. Sometimes it looks like it's not in the center. And then sometimes it does, but I like a straight part. I love doing my hair with this because it's just kind of fun. And then after you get the hang of like wrapping it and then and doing it like this and then curling it again, it's just so satisfying, especially when you like, when you release your hair like straight, just watch, just watch, just watch. It's so satisfying to me. <laughs> Look at that. I don't know. I like it. The only thing I don't like about the curling iron, and the same with my other one, like you don't know when it's done heating up. I mean, clearly I can tell like when it's hot, but other than that, I'm like, are you done heating up? So that's why I always like heat up the curling iron sooner rather than later. And then I also hate when my hair, see like it's not staying in the clip. So I have to like almost readjust it. If it goes, if the hair is too low, like in the barrel, it won't like stay clamped, which I don't know why. It's just super weird. And I don't like that feature. I wish it would stay clamped. I also find too, I don't have to hold it for that long. So that's good. But yeah, if the hair is like too far on the bottom, it doesn't stay. So I'm over here like, hello. So basically I know this is an old technique, which a lot of people on my YouTube shorts like to remind me, oh yeah, this is this technique's been around forever. But my hairdresser 
but my hairstylist basically told me this is like how to get the Dyson Airwrap Curl look with using heat on your hair. So that's the reason why I do it. And see like this bottom part is straight and I don't like that. Sometimes I have to do this over again because the bottom doesn't get stuck. I mean the bottom won't hold because it's too far low like I showed you guys. So I have to go back in and like redo it. That one wasn't as satisfying. <laughs> I've come a long way though with this because at first I'm like, how do you do this? It was super hard and frustrating at the same time, but I have gotten better and faster. Okay, so I'm just about done curling my hair. I will say maybe this is faster because I can like kind of take bigger chunks of my hair and put it in the clamp. But when it comes to like the process of me turning this thing, I'm like slow. And I always need like two hands. The hair like slipped out. I hate when it does that. But the curl like looks good, so I can't complain. And there you have it. The curls are all done. I might go in and touch some up, maybe on this side, but overall I think they look pretty good. Okay, so this is the final look. I'm not really wearing these shoes. I'm just gonna wear tennis shoes. But for the picture, I'm gonna wear these shoes. Um, cause yeah, I'm not wearing these shoes all night long. That's just not gonna happen. Um, but yeah, this is the fit and I hope you guys enjoyed this little casual chit chat. Get ready with me. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.